Using the lengthen command, using the lengthen command, we can change things like a line or an arc or a polyline, a spline, etc. We have four different basic options when we use the lengthen command. First of all, let's go up to the modify panel. We're going to hit the down arrow on the modify panel, go to the extended menu, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to hover over the lengthen command and we're going to pick on the lengthen command and we end up with four basic options. We're going to start with the delta. When I click on delta it says enter the delta length. Now delta in science means uh, the positive or negative change. So I'm going to key in 0.75. So I'm going to ch I have a one inch line currently and I'm going to change it by three quarters. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to select the object to change. I'm going to pick it on the right side. That means it's going to go positive 0.75 units in length. Now it's 1.75 in length total. Okay. I'll undo the length. Now I'm back to my just one again. I'm going to go back up to modify and I'm going to go into the lengthen command. I'll go to delta this time. I'll put a negative, negative 0.75. And I'm going to pick on the right side. And you can see that it changed the length of the line by 0.75 an inch, leaving me just with 0.25 an inch of my original one inch. So the length or the delta option uh, changes it by the amount of change, uh, positive or negative. Let me undo that. Back to my one inch line. Next, let's go up to our modify. Let's go to our lengthen command. Let's go to percent. Okay. So when I go to percent, it says enter the percentage length. I'm going to first go with 125. That means it's going to, basically, when it's 100%, it's the same length. So 125, it's going to add about 25% more than it originally had. So it's going to add 25%. So it's been lengthened to 125%. So now the actual line is 1.25. Okay. I'm going to undo that, get me back to my original one inch long line. This time, I'm going to go up and choose lengthen. And I'm going to go with percent. And now this time I'm going to go with 75%. And now I'm going to pick it on the right side and it's going to go 75% of the original length. So I took 25% off. In other words, it's 0.75 inches long now. I'm going to undo that, go back to my original one inch length. Next, let's go up to the modify. Extend in menu and go to lengthen. Next, let's go total. Now, total is fairly easy. We just have to tell it how long we want. So, I'm going to say, well, I want it two inches long. I'm going to hit enter. I'll pick on the right side. Boom. It made the line two inches long. I can come down to do this again. I go to modify. I go to lengthen. I go to total. And I can say it's 1.57. And I hit enter. And I pick on the right side. And it changes it so the line is 1.57. And instead of doing the old undo, I'm just going to go up to my length then. And I'm going to go to total. And I'm going to say I want I like the 1. And I'm going to pick on the end of the line. And now my line is exactly 1 inch. Our fourth option is the dynamic option. When I go up to modify, go to lengthen, go down and pick dynamic, I select the object. Boom. Now I can move it with my mouse. Okay? So I can either just pick with my mouse and say this is where I want it to go, or I can key in a value and say, Oh, let's go over 0.5 and hit enter and I just dynamically changed it by 0.5.
I can come up and do that again. I'm going to go to Modify and go to Lengthen. Go to Dynamic. Pick on the line. And I can just move my mouse back and forth and visually dynamically change it to whatever spot I want. But um, So I can just drag it to a new length using the Dynamic. Uh, dynamic is not as friendly because I like to work with exact sizes but you can also key in the length of the dynamic how much you want to dynamically change it so we have four different options for the length and command we have the delta percent uh, we have the we also have the total and we have the dynamic and these are good for changing things such as lines and arcs polylines splines in an elliptical arc or even an included angle of an arc.